Someone asked us if we wear pants underneath the blanket, and we don't. Pillow talk! Welcome back to Pillow Talk Monday! Why you talk like that? Why you talk like that? I don't know. That's weird, man. You could put a bow in my hair. Okay. With my hair. Let me braid your hair. It's already, I have a bow. You put it in, and you put. That's beautiful. You're beautiful. It's in, it's what's in right now. Well, Pillow Talk Monday has turned into Racist Monday. I'm very excited today because we're gonna talk about something that gets me excited. No. It's not, I mean, not really. But I feel like that's like a really good way to get people really excited about what we're gonna talk about. Is to say that you're excited? To say I'm so excited. Today we are talking about tops, tops and, and bottoms. bottoms. See how I did that? Or maybe is it more? that. Adriana thinks she likes to know about my life. I do. Sarah, I know everything about your life. As much, even stuff that you don't even know about your life, I know about it. When I'm like, I'm like peering in your window and I'm like, oh, I see Sarah's going with the grilled cheese two days in a row. And that's not going to be good for her bowel movements later. Okay, stop talking. Uh, ladies, we are not talking about which bun of your sandwich goes on the top and on the bottom. This is hardcore things that lesbians need to know. This is very important stuff. You need to know in a relationship who is the top and who is the bottom. You need to know if you are dating another top. You need to know if you're dating another bottom. Because you know what? It's not going to work out. And we're going to save you from embarrassment, from heartbreak, and anything else that may, might come this way. So pay attention, get your notepad out, take notes. Now, a lot of people think uh, being a top or being a bottom means who is the man in the relationship. And who is the woman in the relationship. Which just doesn't even make any sense. No, because, because no one's the man. Yeah, you're both the women in the relationship. Yeah, so let's just pff, so get, get that, that elephant out. Get that idea right, right now. Head. It's not necessarily just if you're a top in the bedroom. If you're a top, you're just a top and you would just top things in life. Like, you always have to be on top of everything. Is that what that means? Isn't it? Lesbian top isn't defined. Can you define it? Yes, we can, Urban Dictionary. I don't even, like, honestly, I don't even know if people know there are lesbian tops and bottoms because usually when you hear that, you think of a gay man. Because uh, that's for obvious reasons. Yeah. But you know what? They exist in the, f the lesbian world as well. And it still doesn't mean, like, who's wearing the strap on because you could have a strap on and you could still get topped. Can, can you? Like emotionally topped, you mean? It's like, who's the more dominant one? But it is also an urban myth that the tops are the, mo do the more dominant ones. Because mm. usually, well, they can be more dominant, but the bottom is usually the one that controls what's going on. And the t they just give the yeah. top the, like, illusion that they're in control. Yes. And they're like, sure, sweetie, you think you're calling the shots? I'm just letting you think you're calling all the shots. You're like, you think you're there because you want to be there? I put you there. Exactly. This is all part of my master plan. So it's bottoms are kind of like crazy, psychotic manipulators. <laughs> and tops are kind of these uh, passive, um, passive, delusional dumbasses. That's what makes a lesbian relationship. That's what makes a lesbian relationship work. Because like, okay, because you can have like two tops. In a relationship and they're both like what do you want to do no what do you want to do and what if you're like a sideways what if you're a middle what if you're a backwards what if you're an upright i think everyone wants to know what i am i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure people like adriana please just tell me what you are well i'm not going to tell you i think what it refers to is like who give me your hand i think if absolutely what it refers to is who is like on top when you're when you're holding hands like who likes having their hand like forward that is a great way of finding who out who has their hand but like backwards like it's really yes that's how simple it is because it's almost like you're if you're the back of your hand is on top you're like always kind of guiding yeah maybe you're more of a top personality that's 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 gonna be the gay that's women official yeah. test. so grab someone's hand do it ready grab hands i'm the top and no arguments necessary. That's it. It's this done. Decided. 
Do you know there's another easy way of finding out? What, Adriana? Sleep with someone and see who's on top. Being a top doesn't literally mean that you are on the top. Of the pussy food chain. The pussy food chain. Oh, like, let's say, okay, some of the L word characters. I always like to do this so people know. Like, okay, that makes sense. Like, Shane is Shane the top. Shane is the top. So. Carmen is a bottom. I feel like Bet. That is a top. Bet's the top. Bet's in the that. top. Oh. What about other characters? Dana and Alice. Dana was the top. Alice was the motherfucking pillow queen. Yeah. Pillow queen just is another word for bottom. Yes. Like a derogatory term. See, I haven't, I haven't been practicing. <laughs> the so last, the last even video worse. we did, I had practiced. For hours on end. For hours, I gave myself a migraine. Let's do a different accent. Which kind of accent would you like to do? I do the Spanish, because it's so easy to do. It is. Cause I, I don't even know what kind of Spanish this is, but it's just like... I think that's like ignorant, like racist Spanish. I'm pretty sure what you're doing, girl. Yeah. What are we even talking about? All right, well, I hope you enjoy Adrian and I <laughs> rambling on about, about nothing. And I think that just goes to show that being a top and be, or being a bottom as a lesbian doesn't really make a lot of sense. But it it's is. true that two tops and two bottoms can't date. It, 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 <laughs> there's an old saying that two tops don't make a right. But two bottoms definitely make a wrong. This is, a, this is a video that's like an open-ended question for all of us. So leave a comment and let us know your thoughts. Like the video, just because why haven't you liked it yet? I mean, you've been looking at us you for how like many minutes You should like it as soon now? as I, I come on screen. People. Yeah, please. And uh, subscribe for more totally random. Let us know what this you want. This is, people, this is what you wanted. This is what you signed up for, and this is what you're going to get. So... Us you shouldn't be surprised. Nothing. And also, you know, leave a comment with anything you want us to talk about next week. Well, thank you for watching, and tune in next Pillow Talk Monday. Or tune in on Wednesday, or on Friday, because we... Check out my wave. It's it's gay women, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Check out my wave. That's a good wave, Sarah. That's pretty good, eh? Check out my wave. It's not a wave. It's better than a wave. Because it's sex. <laughs> <laughs>